so today i'm going to be showing you how to attach dreadlocks or locks onto straight hair and we're going to be using this handmade locks and you can find the link of where to find this um, human hair locks in the description below in the comment area uh, so this is what they come in packs like this so this is one of it this is 100 percent human hair and we're also going to need our dreadlocks tools and this tool also the link can be found in the comment area so i'm using the two prong uh, crochet um, dreadlocks needle in the size 0 0.75 mm this was a requested video and so i'm going to slow things down so if you feel like you can speed it up as best as you want so what I'm doing right now is I'm just fraying the ends of the hair just to loosen it up. I'm going to fray a little bit more of it. Next, this is the hair. So normally you won't have such a long hair and I've been practicing this. So please forgive me if I make some mistakes along the way, but I'm just still learning and we all will learn together, right? Okay so what i do is i just put the hair together so if you can't put the hair together you could also kind of wrap the hair within it so i'm just you can do this where you wrap the hair within it to disguise it so once we do that the next thing you want to do is you want to take your locking tool and you're just going to be going in and out okay so you're just kind of wrapping it in and out like that okay so that it attaches the hair together if your hair is natural it's so much easier but if not you can use this method so the key thing is to interlock so this is a locking tool you want to interlock the natural hair or the straight hair with the lock hair so you might have to pull in some more and just keep on going in and out okay so going in and out so you can see i'm going in and out i'm bringing it from the side i'm pulling it through I'm going in from the side and pulling it through and locking it in. So it's as if you're crocheting. So just take the hair from the side and pull it through. So once I've secured the base to the best of my ability, I can still go back again and make it cleaner. But you can see how it's starting to look more like the lock is attaching to the hair, right? Going in and out. So keep on going. So I want the straight hair to be behind the lock so that it catches it. So we're going in and out like that. So for those that know how to do this really well, please give me some tips. You know, as I mentioned, please, I, I'm still learning. So any tip you can help, um, help us out. The better the tip, the more the understanding, right? Okay. So for those people that have relaxed hair, and you're wondering can i lock my hair yes you can and what you need to do is you need to get lock extensions lock extensions they are readily available i'll drop the link in the comment area so that's what you need to get lock extension so you see i'm just crocheting it going in and out bringing it from one side and i'm locking it inside so because so that everything locks in so i'm going inside 
you can also use the three prong so i'm going to show you the three prong if you have the three prong if not you can use the one prong the issue with the one prong is it takes longer so this is the three prong i can use the three prong to make it faster i just i just like the two prong mm -hmm. So you can see the hair is quite long so what i can do is i can take this and i can fold it okay so i can just fold it in there so you could have done that from the beginning just fold the hair and then i'm just kind of interlocking it so that the hair is not too long into the um lock okay so after you have finished locking everything in you can see that the root is a little bit loose so you can get this tool there are several ones in this container i think there are about eight or so so this is um the locking tool i believe that's what they're called anyway so you can get the tool you can put it through the hole like that pull that through inside the underneath okay so when you pull it through pull that underneath I can use that to tighten okay so you can use that to tighten the base of the lock so that's it the last thing that you want to do is just to palm roll it the best that you can and don't worry this as the locks get more um, rough or more um, <laughs> I, I believe as they get more aged this side will get more rougher or whatever so it will start looking similar so yeah so this is one way you can create locks if you want to thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye